I'm glad you have returned, sir. We have kept your room intact. It's exactly as it was when you left. Very nice. Thank you. If you would like to have it straightened, or anything else, just tell me. That won't be necessary. It happened so suddenly, I didn't have time to write that I was coming. I would be happy to help you with anything. Thank you. I'll be fine. Do you need anything else, sir? I have spoken to Robert. It seems to me he may not be feeling well. It is probably due to his responsibilities at Ashbury. Lately it seems to really exhaust him. He has recently taken to spending most of his time at work, often not even returning home for the night. He usually arrives in the evening, locks himself in his study, and works late into the night. He won't even let me in. He may just not want to be disturbed. Maybe, but he would never do that before. Hmm. I'll talk to him. All right, sir. I was under the impression that nothing had changed here since I left. So many years have passed, but it seems to me like it was just last month. The same scenery, the same weather, as though time would rather avoid this place. Sir, a lot has changed in your absence. Nothing is as it was, believe me. We are all growing old, and so is everything around us. I've been a servant here since my youth, and I know well how much a man can be changed by this place. During the last few months, things have been getting noticeably worse, day by day. It is as if the bleakness within the old walls of this manor is gradually taking us over. Hmm? Maybe you're right. Even I don't feel exactly well within these walls. I've been recalling memories of me that I've wanted to forget, range and darken them, and that dismal silence. Bates, could you please light up the fireplace in my room? It's quite cold in there. Oh, pardon this old servant, sir. I had completely forgotten about it. I will be happy to light up your fireplace. Also, if you need the room cleaned up properly, please say so. It was abandoned for over 12 years, and one hasty cleanup is insufficient. No, the room is all right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I need the key to the attic. Do you know where I can find it? It is hanging in the kitchen right next to the cellar door. You cannot possibly miss it. I'm going to need the key later today. Can you please put it back afterwards, sir? Of course I'll return it. Thank you. Are you sure you're all right, Bates? You know, you can take a rest whenever you want. Thank you, sir. I think I will be fine. Have a look at this picture. Do you know this man? Hmm. He does not look familiar to me. I am not very good at remembering faces, though. Sorry, sir. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. The entire outer rim is full of old symbols and signs. No one understands what they mean these days. William would often sit here, reading the paper. That was a very long time ago, though. Mordred Gordon, the heartless ruler of the Dark Ages of our history. His rule was ended by his own brother Marcus in 1213. Our family's coat of arms. It has been symbolizing our noble rights since the Middle Ages. Doctor, can
Can I have a word with you? Yes, all right. It's William. I know you were his friend, and also his physician. Yes, that applies to your whole family. So, what is it that troubles you, Gordon? You do realize that this is not the appropriate time to speak about William. I don't believe it was an accident. Hmm. Well, it is strange indeed. Then why would he do it? And those burns? What burns? Numerous, deeply burned areas. I have no clue as to their origin. Go on. No, Mr. Gordon. Come back tomorrow. I will gladly tell you everything. I really do not want to talk about this today. All right. Then expect me tomorrow. I will certainly come back. Dr. Herman knows something important. I have to talk to him tomorrow. Have you ever seen this man? No, I have not. He looks like someone I would remember if I had seen him. Old books and scrolls. They probably fell off the pile on the chair. The map of our manor. It might come in handy. I'll take it. It's full of various parchments and old scrolls. I can't see any interesting ones. The statue is holding something strange in its hand. It appears to be a key of some sort, or an amulet. William's work table. He used to spend hours and hours at it, writing. The Chronicle of the Warm Hill Manor. The local parish has been here for a very, very long time. According to the oldest books and records, it has been here for so long that only the walls of our castle may remember its foundation. Marcus Gordon had the church built so long ago that the date has already been lost in the mists of time. Therefore, the actual age of the building can only be estimated. As in the past, there was no accurate record keeping. Should we hold to the views of respected historians, it was around 1215 AD that the church was built. It is thought that Marcus had the church built on pagan lands where many innocent people died through the ages. There is no corresponding record to this, however. Not one mention in any books or volumes available to me at the manor or the vicarage. Therefore, from a historic standpoint, this is a mere assumption, or worse, one of the many fictitious legends circulating in these lands. One thing, however, is more certain. It was this age that also gave rise to the academy at Black Mirror. As with Warm Hill Church, it was Marcus who was responsible for the construction of such a significant building. The new academy with its vast library was supposed to serve as a knowledge base for all the people. It was also a safe place for depositing the chronicle of the Gordon family that Marcus ordered his wise men to protect. In this, however, fate was not kind to Marcus. The whole academy burnt to stone long after his death, around 1512 AD. Despite the vigorous effort of the people at the manor, who hurried to the disaster to fight the flames, the academy burned to the ground. When they saw there was no chance to save the building, they tried to save the records from inside. Not everyone was willing to risk their life in lethal heat for the scraps of paper that had been scribbled over. If it hadn't been for a few brave souls, however, 
we would have never known who Marcus Gordon was, nor some of the history of Black Mirror Manor, as most chronicles were lost to the flames. Gar Moore Gordon perished in the fire at the age of 45. For his bravery, eternal memory is held. There was no one left of the Academy to care for the remaining records and old books. Consequently, the volumes that remained were passed on to the Warm Hill Parish to the safekeeping of Father Matthias. Father Matthias took meticulous care of the historical treasure until his death in 1543. To that holy man, the people of Garmore Gordon are grateful for the preservation of the Chronicle and the old records. Since those times, the Gordon family chronicle has been handed over from one successor of Father Matthias to the next, until today. Recorded by hand of Jeremy Gordon, 1632 AD. They'll be full of books or old paper. I won't bother opening them. Just more books. A manually drawn map of the world from the 16th century. It seems like something's missing here. Literary works, Renaissance, lots of great books are among them. Maybe I'll read one of them sometime later when I'm resting. I used to sit on this chair at family dinners. Fresh apples and a few sweets. Almond sweets from Switzerland. I like these best. They don't seem to be working, showing half past seven. An ivory statue of a little Buddha. Victoria is collecting these things. A dirty coffee mug. There's a big bee on its side. It probably belongs to Bates. I don't need anything from here. Various kinds of spices and cooking ingredients. I'm not going to make a mess out of it for Bates. The dining table of the servants. Spice grinder. It's just a decoration. It doesn't work. This is where Bates makes all the meals. He's a very good cook. At least I won't go hungry. Pork, I'd say. Smells lovely. There's some dirty water at the bottom. Maybe there were flowers in it once. This is the key to the attic. I'll take it. The 
door is locked. picture frames and other old garbage. Useless. It's locked. It's locked. There is nothing in it, just a few sheets of paper. old scrolls and lots of spider webs. There is nothing useful in it. It's quite well preserved. Strange. The entrance to the tower is nailed shut. I must get rid of these barrier boards somehow. I can't do this with my bare hands. The entrance to the tower is nailed shut. I can't see anything special here. This is the place where William took his last breath. I won't leave before I find out the truth. It's dry. No one has taken water from it in a long time. My name is Samuel Gordon. You are Morris, the groom, aren't you? Yes, sir. I know who you are. Bates told me about you. I would like to ask you about something, Morris. What can you tell me about Bates? 
What do you want to know about him? Well, I don't know exactly. He's different from when I knew him. To me, he seems to be the same all the time. The same old standoffish mope. He wasn't like that before. That's possible. I've only known him for the couple of years that I've worked here. So how many years have you been working here? Almost five. Morris, how did you get along with William? Well, like a groom with the horse owner. Okay, I guess. He's only spoken a few sentences to me in all the time that I've been working here. I mean, I saw him very seldom. I see. Morris, you are right next to the old wing. Can you see inside the old tower from your room? What do you mean? I never go there. Who told you that? It was that old drunkard, right? I was just asking, why are you so upset? I knew that Flores bastard was spreading gossip about me again. He tells you anything. Don't believe him, sir. Ends to get smashed and talk out of his ass. Sure, but you've been to the old wing, right? Yes, but only out of curiosity. I've got no reason to go there. And it's a strange place anyway. What do you mean? Well, I haven't exactly got a good feeling about it. I feel like I'm being watched by something older than the centuries within those old, damp walls. And the silence, it makes one feel as if one cannot speak. Frankly, I'm glad I don't have any work to do there. Morris, look here. Do you know this man? Hmm... I wouldn't say so. I've never seen him around here. Okay. Thank you. I will go then. All right, sir. The bags are full of dry hay. They should be carried off into the stable before it starts raining. The humble abode of the groom is up there. I haven't any reason to go there. It's used so seldom, it's locked up. It appears stable, but I'm not going to climb up. Hay for the horses is in there, and that's Morris's responsibility. Our family's coat of arms. Someone should repair it. It's rusty and has many holes. It's useless. Red wine from our cellar. How did the bottle get here? Hmm. I'll ask Morris where he got it. Nails, screws, nothing I need. Hmm. I should be able to get rid of the barrier boards on the door to the tower. It's rusty, but it works. Empty glasses and paint cans. Nothing useful. There's enough light in here during the day.
Morris, do you have a moment? Sure. Morris, I've noticed you have a bottle of wine on your workbench in the stable. Wine? I sometimes take a sip when it's cold outside, but never during work. It appears to be our vintage red. Where did you get it? Well, uh, Sir William gave it to me. Some time ago, just this one bottle. Really? Yes, sir. All right, Morris. I do not believe that William would have given away some of our best wine. Morris must have gotten it some other way. I will go, then. All right, sir. It must be centuries old. It invokes a rather queer feeling in me. One of the several large rocks in the garden. No one knows how they got here. I used to play in it when I was a little kid. Back then, it wasn't so stagnant and neglected. The tree has surrounded it completely. There's no way to reach it. Its water used to be crystal clear. I'll tell Henry to clean it up. It can't stay this dirty. This is where the oldest trees grew. Victoria loved them so much. And this is what's left of them. The rear path is completely blocked by bushes. I have to go around. Smoke from the leaves smells nice. Good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Henry. I take care of the garden. It's not an easy job. I don't have anyone to help me. But you probably wanted to speak about something else, sir. What can I do for you, sir? I would just like to ask a few questions. How long have you been working here, Henry? About a year, sir. The garden seems rather deteriorated. Everything used to blossom around here, but now... I'm trying hard, sir, but I can't get everything done just by myself. This garden is really a lot of work, sir. 
Why doesn't anyone maintain the rear garden? I don't know, sir. Probably because nobody ever goes there. And what about the fountain? There used to be fish in it once. I have no problem with the rear garden as such, but I want you to clean the fountain. But, sir, isn't that rather futile? I mean, it can't even be seen from the front. It's going to be a lot of wasted work. Either you clean it by tomorrow, or you can start looking for a new job. As you wish, sir. Tell me, Henry, what did you think of William? I didn't really know him, sir. I'd scarcely seen him. You have worked here every day and you hardly saw him? Well, you see, Sir William wouldn't go to the garden very often, and I only do what Madame Victoria tells me. Bates was the only one allowed in his study. He wouldn't let anyone else in. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? I don't really feel like talking about him with you. Why not? Hmm... How would I put it? Everyone reckoned he was a bit of a loony. You know what I mean. Go on. I don't really want to talk about it with you, sir. Please ask someone else. What does that mean? Why would anybody perceive William as mad? Henry, do you recognize the man in this picture? Have you ever seen him? No, sir. I don't think I have. Who is it? Should I know him? No, probably not. I just wanted to know if you had ever met him. I'm sorry, sir. I will leave you to your work. The wood is ready to go into the grinder. It looks like blood. How is this possible, though? This is where the ground wood ends. Now it's empty. They're full of leaves. Henry has plenty of work taking care of the garden. All those leaves will get burnt in the end. The door is locked. Henry? Yes? Henry, there's blood in the grinder in front of the greenhouse. Where did it come from? But that's impossible, sir. I only put branches in it. Are you quite sure? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I probably imagined it. I should probably take a rest. Who knows what I've seen? Henry, I went to the greenhouse and found it locked. Why? I lock it during the day as well, just to be safe. To be safe? I don't want anyone wandering about the place and snooping in my stuff. Do we have strangers walking around here then? No, sir. That's not the problem. But I've seen Morris around there a couple times. And he's got no business there. The greenhouse and the garden are both my responsibilities. I usually lock it so that I can be sure nothing gets lost. But if you want to have a look inside, sir, I'll open it. No, I only wanted to know why it was locked. What could Morris be looking for in the greenhouse? Hmm. I will leave you to your work. Hmm, 
I'd be interested to know where these stones came from. The main gate is usually closed, as it is today. This is where our mail is brought. At least it used to be. I have no reason to leave. Done. The path is free of obstacles. Damn. The door is locked. I have no idea where the key could be. I should ask Victoria. <laughs> 